Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. When's the last time you wrote with a quill pen? Um, Marlene, I would have to say never, but today on Go Island we are getting a lesson in quill pens and inkwells. On today's show, sifting through time through soil, the Van Isle Sailing Co-op and a challenge against the clock. That and more in the next 30 minutes. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. Glad to be back from a week of holidays. A huge shout out to Jocelyn Matwe and of course Annette Lucas for filling in so capably while I was away. I will admit that I hardly watch any TV at all. Today we are at the Nanaimo Museum talking about inkwells and quill pens. And this is literally a feather that George and Marlene are gonna tell me how to load up with ink in order to be able to write. This is all in anticipation of going back to school, which is just around the corner. So just dip it in. Dip it in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, what and am then I just tap it gently, and, uh, Kate, so you don't get blots. A bit okay. of the excess off like so. I like excess though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then. And then just right. Just right. Just, just right, just right. Yeah. Mm. And when it starts to dry out, you keep, wow. keep dunking. That is a lot of dipping, isn't it? It is. Okay. Inkwells and quill pens. Quill pens and inkwells, however it goes, is a program here at the Nanaimo Museum. And it's a way for generations to come together as they reflect on what school was like 100 years ago in anticipation of the school year starting in September. We're going to talk, about mo talk more about the program in just a few minutes. But first, it's time for another program that takes place at the museum here, Junior Archaeology. Here's Rianne LaPlante. Dip, dip, dip every time or tap, yeah. tap, tap. Yep. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It's almost time to go back to school. Imagine doing it a hundred years ago. There is a classroom here in the Nanaimo Museum, a permanent exhibit, but there are some special programs that are running throughout the summer. It is called Quill Pens and Inkwells. Marlene Robertson is a volunteer here at the museum. What takes place in this classroom from a hundred years ago? Just lots of fun things. It's a wonderful place to be. It gives the kids an idea of what school was like well over 100 years ago, actually. And uh, I think doing things like quill pens gives us all a good sense of how far we've come, maybe what we've missed, and maybe what we haven't missed. Mm -hmm. Ink blots all over us, the hair and the ink well trick, you know. You hear, <laughs> everyone hears about them, right? Yeah. And uh, it's kind of I think a really good interaction because I think knowing our past really helps our future and so many of these kids have no idea of what life was like way back mm -hmm. when I was a kid right I mean I went to school and sat at these very desks so wow. it's pretty amazing the changes and the difference and sometimes it's hard to comprehend but I think hands-on and actually being here and sitting in these desks and talking about how life used to be is really good for kids. Mm -hmm. And now it, it takes place every Tuesday from 1030 until noon here at the Nanaimo Museum for all of uh, July and August. July's gone already, so for the rest of August. And today is the only day that there's no kids in the classroom. But when they are here, you were saying that they're very engaged and they're very intrigued and interested in the process of, of writing with ink Absolutely. and a feather. Absolutely. Yeah, because the perception is being all these little kids are going to make you crazy, right? But they are. They're so engaged and they're so intent on learning this new skill because I, a lot of the schools apparently aren't even teaching cursive writing now and as you can see along the boards we have the cursive writing samples mm -hmm. and it's just kind of amazing to see them and see their I mean they're really talented these little kids and when they can just do what they want it's amazing what they do they made it cards they you know do drawings they write in a whole page. It's, it's really fun. And they're, they are so engaged that they hardly look up. 
I mean, it's actually the perfect storm for a schoolroom, right? Yeah, I'm getting the sense, I don't know who's going to be having more fun, you or the kids, <laughs> when they're here. We're going to come back to the Nanaimo Museum and talk more about a classroom from 100 years ago after we, well, we are going to hit the waters around Nanaimo. Jocelyn Matwe checks out the Van Isle Sailing Co-op. Lots of great opportunities to get out onto the water, especially with the weather that we've been having. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It's quite relaxing, this old-fashioned ink dipping, dabbing, and then writing. I'm feeling it quite uh, to be quite peaceful. We'll be back with more after a short break. Still ahead today on Go Island, a summer art walk in Whistler. And Todd and Derek try to beat the clock. That and more still to come today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. Kind of like riding a bicycle. I've been off for a week. It's good to be back, and it doesn't feel like I've been gone at all. Today we are at the Nanaimo Museum talking about quill pens and inkwells. What would it have been like to go to school 100 years ago? We finally got some students in class now. They dropped in. It's all included as part of your Nanaimo Museum admission. George, you're 84 years old? That's right. What was school like? when you were in elementary school? Well, strangely enough, <laughs> 70 some odd years ago, I was in a classroom similar to this. And what do you remember? I mean, these days it seems like there are so many different subjects. That's right. Back then, was it reading, writing, arithmetic, and period. sort of period, that's period. it? Did you get um, like the, oh. the, the stick, the oh, ruler? Yeah. Well, if you didn't get your arithmetic right or something? It, she had a ruler that was about 18 inches long. And <laughs> when she whipped it up and down like this, it went up and down like a willow. Wow. And she just had a knack of being able to tap it like this. But it was enough to make your eyes bulge a little bit. Did it make you focus on your work a little more? Did it have the desired effect? I hate to say maybe we need to bring that back. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> of course, you were mortified because all the other kids are smirking. Right. Until she turned around and then caught one, one of the boys or something and with a ruler across the back of his head, she'd whack him. You weren't the guy in the class that was taking the girls' ponytails and dipping them into the inkwell, were you? Oh, well, I, I won't admit to it. How many kids were in your classroom? Because today there's 20, 20, 25, 30 kids in a classroom? I think, I think today there's like, what, 20, 32? Yeah. Or more. But uh, when I, first of all, when I went to a little school like this, there was only, I'd say at the most, there was a, a, maybe a dozen of us. Wow. But <clears throat> you have to remember that at that time, the teacher taught from kindergarten on up through the grades. So we would have kids that were in our classroom that were 13, 14 years old. So, but had us sit in certain areas by our classes. And uh, it was tough to, to concentrate on what you should have been concentrating on when she was teaching someone else. Yes, well, and some things never change. Concentration is still a problem for kids in the classroom from what I understand. Nanaimo has an art walk every year in November or December. It's been taking place for about 15 years. Whistler, however, does theirs in the summertime. Nicole Fitzgerald checks it out with Arbutus RV's Big Summer.
You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. In addition to experimenting with writing with an old feather or new feather in an old fashioned way and some ink here at Quill Pens and Inkwells, you can make yourself a magnet, a little piece of paper and a clear piece of glass and uh, put some magnet on the back and take it home and put it on your fridge. Something for the kids to experience as they get ready to go back to school in modern times. The program runs here at the museum every Tuesday through August from 10.30 into, until noon. Just drop in and all the cost is included in your museum admission. We're going to send our boys Todd Jones and Derek Johnstone out on a scavenger hunt of a sort. They're looking for something historic. They don't know what it is. It's another edition of Clocked. Ridiculous. How can they call it ridiculous? It's one of the times that they actually did not uh, find their quest, finish their quest in time. If you have ideas that you think would stump Todd and Derek, please, I need some help. Kate.bergen at sjrb.ca. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. The children here at the Nanaimo Museum are getting a nod of approval from the volunteers, George and Marlene. Their cursive handwriting is up to par. Cursive was one of the things I enjoyed the most in elementary school. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time. Better get back to it before the teacher comes by with that ruler. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay, Marley. <laughs>